Hey guys, what's up? Resto Rubs back for another video. Today we're going to do top 10 tools that I have that I don't use every day, but that I'm glad that I own. Uh, and in no particular order, these are just tools that I have that I don't get to use very often, but that I'm glad that I have when I do. So, first one, snap-on torque wrenches. I don't use these every day. Um, obviously, you guys know the type of work that I'm in. Um, so I don't need to use them every day, but I'm glad that I have them when I do. Number nine is going to be the new Ur. They're kind of like a re-release uh, snap-on stubby ratchet and sockets. This is the newer style. The older style didn't have that button cap there. Uh, and I had these in my other top 10 video, favorite video. Um, but again, I really like them. I just don't get to use them very often. But when I do need them, again, I'm super freaking glad that I have them. Uh, the next ones are another kind of newer re-release. Um, these are the flare nut sockets, uh, 3 8 through 3 quarter. They do make them up to a 13 16 I believe, and I'm going to go ahead and order those. But um, these things have saved me a couple times. Where they're particularly handy is like down in uh, steering gearbox uh, lines and uh, power steering lines up at the pumps and AN fittings and so on and so forth. Um, sometimes you just can't get that last little bit with a wrench and you need something different. That's where these come in handy. I have noticed though, if you look really close there, you see how these are machined? Look at that one. See how it's machined deeper? Yeah, huh? Okay, so we got 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these. These are Snap-On's die sockets with an O-ring in them. Again, the 3 h drive, this thing has saved me quite a few times. If you're over a stud, trying to die a stud, and you don't have room for a handle, this is where it's at, guys. You need to invest in one of these. They're not too expensive. They're really handy, though. Uh, the next one is this pry bar. This pry bar is actually made for doing semi brakes or um, heavy line, uh, maybe some medium, but mostly heavy duty and semi uh, truck brakes. But, dude, this thing is so handy for any brakes, okay? It's saved me quite a few times, uh, especially my hands and you know what I mean. And I've used it in quite a few other situations. They don't make it an orange handle, I don't think, but it's been a great tool. Okay, that was six, here's five. Okay, these are the nine piece deep well extractor set, part number BEXD9. These have also saved me more than a few times. Uh, again, these are particularly meant for being over top of studs and needing to get uh, nuts off is what they're particularly made for uh, or like a studded bolt uh, again they've saved me more than a few times and uh, super handy to have what makes those special obviously is that they're deep gear wrench has recently come out with some some of their newer stuff that you can take off and put back on not that i would ever put back on but i guess uh in a mobile tech type of situation or something like that it would be uh, handy uh, next we're getting away from the snap-on stuff now so these are the rebranded Matco uh, flat wrenches uh, these is this is the metric set I bought the metric set because most of the time I can get away with metric stuff uh, when it comes to something like this it's specialty and the reason that I bought them were, was a metric uh, application. Uh, Rytec sway bar in links uh, was the reason that I bought them. They also, I find myself picking up more often for my uh, die grinders because uh, they're easier to use than little chintzy ass wrenches that uh, 
all the tool companies sell with their die grinders. So, that was four, here's three. Another Matco tool is these guys. I've only used them once, but they really saved me the time that I did use them. These are spring-loaded uh, crow's feet, uh, universal crow's feet, or uh, let's see, yeah, they call it a crow's foot, okay. And uh, these are pretty sweet, guys. I think some guys would call these like pelican pliers, but uh, anyway, that's number three. You guys need to pick up a set of those if you got some extra cash laying around. Uh, they're awesome, especially for like uh, tie rod in sleeves and stuff like that. Uh, if you're in a tight spot and uh, you need an offset. Uh, the second one, number two, is going to be these eighth inch collet die grinding bits. Uh, these are rebranded. I think that the company that makes these also makes these from Snap-on and a few other companies. Uh, this collet will fit in your quarter inch die grinder and you can use these eighth inch bits with your quarter inch die grinder instead of a Dremel. Although I do have a Dremel. Obviously they're a lifetime warranty. And number one. This is the only non-name brand tool that is here. This, I believe, is actually a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh tool. This is a tie rod end removal tool. Uh, it uses the leverage from the bolt to press the tie rod end or ball joint or whatever it may be out. And um, let me tell you, this thing has saved me some time. You know, uh, air hammers and uh, work real well with the proper forks and hammers work real well just tapping on them but when you got a real stuck one when someone's put a put a tie rod end or a ball joint in dry with no anti-seas or grease and it's been there for 30 years or it's been there for 30 years this is the way to go i have broke one of these uh, but they're so cheap just go get another one that's it so anyway guys, that's my top 10 tools that I have that I'm glad that I have, but that I don't use every day. Also probably be my favorite tools that I don't use every day. Obviously I have some more. Um, anyway, honorable mentions. Let's go over here. Honorable mentions. My half drive impact, I don't use it every day. Uh, that quarter inch call it die grinder down there. My saw and my grinder all four uh were some other honorable mentions but anyway guys rest of the rods out see you next time guys please like comment subscribe share see if we can get this thing up to a thousand subscribers i appreciate you guys so much i have some a couple of really great subscribers darian being one of them every video i'm going to call out one of my great subscribers and thank you I believe his name is Darian Robinson. You're awesome, man. I appreciate it. Crystal Rods out. Deuces.